Okay, so I'm making my way to the walking path. Um, I just had to uh, park my car a couple blocks away from you know, where close to the path where I uh, park. I usually park not too far from the path. Get my hair people out of the city. Uh, it's a lot of wind. I gotta man, stop this video and tighten that up a little bit. But uh, I'm just walking, making my way to the path right now. I'll just turn the camera a little bit so you can see the arc again in the background. And you see some people playing in the fountain. That's kind of a tradition on a hot day like today. Uh, people come and bring the kids and I'm splashing around. There's several fountains in the park and they come and let them uh, splash around the park. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to stop for a minute and tighten up on this uh, hair piece. The last thing I need is for this to be flying off my head as I'm trying to take my walk. So uh, I'm just going to put this on pause for a minute and get myself together. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. Um, I had to tighten up on my little hair piece there because it was blowing. And um, right now I'm at the end uh, way to the path. Right now I'm in the skateboarders park. I'm just going to turn the camera around so you can see the skateboarders. And they some nasty asses too. You know, I'm going to turn the camera around. I want to show you something. Um, all along here, I don't know if you can see it. There's trash cans all along the walking path. I mean, a whole line of trash uh, cans and these knuckleheads they'll toss trash all over the lawn and the grass everywhere except in the trash can trash cans are empty yet they throw the trash all on the grass they're on the ground and it makes it look horrible so um you know i'm experimenting with this selfie stick because one thing another thing that kind of annoys me about this past And in the city in general, is these bike riders. Now, I ain't hating all bike riders. I actually like the idea of biking. Um, but they're very rude. Um, they don't let you know that they're, that they're behind you. Um, they come whizzing by, they go very fast. You know, if I was just to take it's a very narrow path, if I was just, just to take a step or just move my balance a little bit and they're behind me, I could get hit. So. I already made up in my mind when I first started walking this path. And now it's going to sound a little ignorant, but that's the way I feel. Um, I already made up my mind that one of these ignorant asses hit me with the bike. I want to toss it right over into that river. So, just this This video is going to look very weird because I'm just the first time handling a selfie stick <laughs> and it's just going all kind of way so you just bear with me. I'm going to have panoramic shots, vertical shots, sideways shots so just bear with me as I try to work with this. And uh, this is the perfect, perfect time to do this walk. It's cool. I mean, it's not hot. It's not hot to suck the sun short of the It's not hot at all. It's very nice and comfortable. So I picked the perfect time to go walk. But, uh, I don't know if we can get to the path. I want to flip the camera around a little bit so you can see where I see. That's what I see every day. Well, not every day. Lately, it's been once a week or twice a week. But when I first got surgery, this is all I would do. Um, for the most part, I'd step to my meal plan and I would come out here and do my walks. Now, as you can see, people are driving along the path, bike riding. I'm not 
or uh, speed walking. I'm not doing all that. Um, I figure the exercise. You know, it's, you know, I know you're supposed to have intensity in your exercise routine. My theory is I don't have to walk all fast or run and exert myself to gain intensity. There's other ways that I can gain intensity in my walk. Um, I can try to walk a little faster. Sometimes I do. Um, but with this path, which is good for me because it's pretty level, um, I can extend it. Because this path actually goes about five, maybe about ten miles. So if I want to increase my intensity, I just walk longer. And also there's some overpasses, street overpasses, and there's staircases to those overpasses. So if I want to increase my intensity, I can go up those steps and come back down, which I will do. I'm going to show that a little bit later. I'm going to show you what I do as far as adding intensity. But for the most part, I just do the walk. Sometimes I speed it up, depending on how my body feels. I listen to my body and how it feels. So, right now, I feel pretty good. Let me speed it up a little bit because I feel pretty good right now. And um, I'm going to put this on pause again. And I'm going to show you how I intensify my work. I'm going to show you another uh, shot of the walk. This is my walk. share something else with you um, right now I'm approaching I'm in approaching South Philly um, about to approach the South Street Bridge and right now I'm here that kind of sits out in the, in the river but what I wanted to show you right across the river is West Philadelphia and I wanted to show you as I was talking about in my previous video about the University of Penn Medical Center I want to show you their campus because you can actually see the building there I told you I used to go and get have my visits prior to surgery. Um, the hospital building, you can't really see from here because it's kind of hidden behind the other structures, but the building I'm going to show you is the medical center, the state of the art medical center that you just built. Probably within the past 10 years, they're still building and expanding it. Um, so I want to show it to you, um, but it's where I went, so I'm just going to turn the camera around a little bit. And I think you'll see it, it'll say medical or medicine, Milo Research Center, so you'll see that in a second. Just turn it around. So all those buildings back there are part of the University of Penn campus. Mainly the buildings that you see before you is part of the hot, uh, the medical uh, campus. Uh, all the other buildings are other campuses. All those structures you see in the background part of the University of Penn. So, uh, but that gray, big gray building that they're still constructing, that's where I would go for my pre op visits and my testing. And it's a really great facility. It's modern, state of art. I get everything done near my lab work, my mammographies. As a matter of fact, when I went to the previous video, I mentioned how I got all my testing done. I even got a mammography done that day. So, um, and it was last minute. I just walked in and they did it for me. So, um, it's a great 
facility. So, out and in the background, you'll see what appears to be a stadium, which it is. It's the Penn Field. That's where they have their famous Penn relays. So, as you can see, I'm going to show you the part of the path that I have to complete walking. And this is where I add my intensity. If you don't, if you notice further in the distance, you'll see a ramp. That ramp, I walk up and down on. And further in the distance, you'll see me climb a flight of steps. So what I usually do is I climb a flight of steps up to the bridge. That's the South Street Bridge. Then I come down the ramp, and then I turn right back around, go back up the ramp, and then back down the steps. And then I continue my walk back. So I'm just going to pause the tape again. And uh, I'll show you my walk up those steps and down that ramp. And as you can see, a helicopter is about to land. Uh, that's... Uh, about to land on top of the hospital. Actually, it must be transporting someone, a trauma victim. Um, it's about to land at the hospital, University of Penn now. So, like I said, it's an awesome hospital. And right next door to that is another world-famous hospital, which is Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, which I think they're all affiliated. So, uh, let me put this on pause, and I'll show you my intensity part of my workout. Okay, so now I'm approaching my uh, climb up the South Street Bridge. Here's the bridge, and I'll show you the stairs. Let's turn the camera around. So I'm about to approach the steps now. When I first started doing this, I couldn't make it up the first landing. So I can get all the way up to the top of the landing and still struggle. But uh basically get vertical. <laughs> kind of embarrassing, so I used to get vertical go up the steps. But uh I'll find out. And that's the point where I get break. Extreme point of vertigo. <laughs> Come back and we're back down the south. vertical on this bridge too, this ramp. As you can see it's very high and as you can see it's a very steep ramp too. Very, very steep. That's why I said 
and there's a lot of ramps along this path like that so I don't have to do a lot of running I'm gonna walk take my time walk up some flight of steps walk back down them, walk up a ramp walk back down a ramp and I plan on doing each and every one along this path eventually but I work my way up to that uh, but for right now I had to bring my way up to this point so I'm progressing Enough for me you don't have to be running and jumping your brains out to the point you're about to pass out to get uh, some physical activity or exercise and as you see I'm sweating so to some that may not be I may not be doing a lot of workout but I'm sweating my arms sweating my back my face and I ain't really all walking that fast so you don't have to exert yourself like that especially in these temperatures it's ridiculous back up the ramp I go Back across and back down the steps. <laughs> 